Hey there YouTube, so this is kind of like part 4 of my Nintendo 64 joystick repair and uh, so it's the next day and uh, I got some good results actually so here's one of the bowls right now this one's pretty much hardened up uh, it's all smooth out already so oops yep. it's ready for um, installation and actually already um, pre-installed it right now before uh, making this video and uh, I mean, this it came out really good. As you can see, it, it's pretty rounded in there, but it's still not completely dry for some reason. So before I'm gonna keep it, uh, but you know, I permanently install it, like put it back in the controller. I'm gonna just let it dry for like maybe another day, maybe put in some sunlight because I'm j I just been keeping them inside. But I think they might need some air or something. So right now I'm gonna <clears throat> show you the results by. Um, putting back the, the joystick real quick so give me a second Okay, so I put it back together, and uh, this is the result. I mean, I'm shaking it. It moves, but, I mean, watch this. Oh, I don't know if you can hear the music, but I'm playing Wind Waker on my Wii right now, because I just got my component cables as a side note. But, yeah, so, um, let's see here. Try to hold this down so I can show you. Okay, this is bad. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right, so oops. so check it out. I mean, it's still loose, but it's way better than last time. It. The joystick barely comes in and out of place, and it's got you know wiggle room because it's not exactly perfect. But uh, I wasn't really count counting on this one to be perfect. But uh, I have another. I still have the other bowl, and uh, the putty's still really moist in it. But um, that one, it looks like it's going to come out a lot better. Um, I, I've been looking at it, and it looks a lot more smoother than this one. And um. I mean, you can see this one, it, I still need it to dry up, and you can see it doesn't look as smooth, but uh, it's it's pretty, it's as smooth as it can be for now. It's going to last for a while, so all I got to do is lubricate it after I'm done, and I'll have a really nice controller back in working condition. It would this, uh... It was the atomic purple one and the other one for the, the other bowls for the yellow controller, which is mine. But um, after those finally harden up, I'll just lubricate them with some petroleum jelly. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you how the other one looks and uh, show you how the. Well, you give me a second. Here's the other bowl. I left it over here in the sun, just barely today. And this one looks super smooth. Like, I me, mean, you mean look at that? It looks. I mean, it looks really good. This one looks really good. So I'm, I'm waiting to see how this one comes out. But it's still really moist, and it's like, it's uh, not really dried up and hard enough. So if I put uh joystick in there and start using it it's going to mess it all up so need that to harden up and hopefully at the, by the end of in installing it I'll have a controller that's as tight as this one 
I mean, this, this is one of my repair joysticks, and you can see it's really good. I mean, it still has that problem getting stuck a little bit, but not really, you know. And like I said, this one, this one, when I repaired it, I kind of winged it, but that one I did over there, it should be working really good. I mean, this one's working really good right now. And this one's lubricated with the petroleum jelly, so, yeah. I mean, this one, shoot, like, <laughs> I'm hoping it comes out like this, except not getting stuck too much, you know. But, I mean, it works really good. And this was another one I repaired, but the repair didn't come out very well, because I wasn't doing that technique. But, yeah. It works just as good, but this one's a lot more loose. But yeah, so just an update video, and um, as soon as that dries up and I'm done with uh, lubricating everything, I'll make another video. Thanks for watching.